What's up, everyone? I just wanted to wish you all a happy holiday for those that do celebrate. It is uh, cold here in Ohio, something like negative 30 outside with the wind chill. But I just wanted to bring you guys a couple updates to today. We've got some new fit fish in. We had some sick fish. So I just wanted to go and give you guys a little bit of an update on them and a couple plans moving forward. All right, so the Golden Dorado, they are both still do doing good. Um, I'd say the bigger one now is probably closing in at around seven, eight inches. Got them in here with the one ray I decided to keep and the albino sterlet sturgeon. He is also uh, putting on a little bit of weight, not a whole lot, but he is growing, he is thriving. Uh, we had to move these guys into this tank for a uh, temporary reason. They will be getting their tank back, most likely going to this 150 after, uh, oh, my dad already moved them, never mind. I can probably actually do that sit today. Let's go ahead and do that. I like that idea. But we've got over here, you guys probably know this uh, light grows algae like none other, but the water is good, so that's all that matters. Um, the African arrow is actually gnawing on shrimp, along with the brine shrimp and the blood worm. So I expect him to do perfectly well here. He is going to stay in the baby grow out tank so he can continue to eat the smaller foods. Um, as you can see, the puffers are 100% tiny, but they eat like this every day, and the, the next day they are back to looking bone skinny, kind of like this guy here. So it will take a while before puffers actually develop a fat sack, and uh, once you get them fed, you keep them packed full, and they will slowly grow. So, you know, there are three MBU puffers in this tank. The hope and the plan is you grow them out to, together. They won't attack e each other. And uh, we can have three big puffers in a tank. Um, as you guys know, we've tried it in the past and we didn't really have luck, but that was just with two. So we're going to try three and growing them out. We'll see how that plays out. I don't normally see aggression from them towards each other, just you know, hanging out in the tank. But if I do throw shrimp in the tank or something like that, one might nip at the other one saying, hey, get away from my food. But I just spot, feet meet them away from each other and we don't have a problem. Um, everyone else seems to be doing great in this tank. They are all eating, they are all growing. So I have no problems with that whatsoever. We are going to hook this tank up onto our system. We'll run a siphon from the Bellagio over to this 135. I'm going to do this bulkhead in the side. We've got the inside uh, already plumbed up. I just got to screw it in and attach it. And then we have to run the outside back and into the stingray pool. So this tank will actually be on our system for the fish that we are growing out personally, all of our baby fish and whatnot. The bottom tank will be quarantined along with the rest of the tanks you see right here. So you got these ones, that whole rack, and you've got the rack on the end over there. And then these two tubs, which we actually hate, I'm actually thinking of replacing this with uh, the 265 out there for the time being, but we shall see. All right, in this tank, we've got the Abanite, and he is already eating well on uh, cut, cut up shrimp. I probably feed him about uh, one or two pieces a night and uh, once he gets a little more confident putting some size on him his appetite will increase and he won't be as shy he loves to try and hide up behind this uh, outlet of the filter which I don't really like but uh, soon he'll be confident enough or may maybe I'll get some sort of uh, rock structure back there to where we can see him but he feels like he is hiding. Um, right below, we've got the Amara Wolf Fish. He is uh, still do do doing good. I have not broke him onto uh, shrimp or t tilapia yet, so he's been a little bit more of a pain, um, but I am still working with him. So 
maybe uh, another couple weeks. I'm trying everything up my sleeve to try and break this guy. And once he, he starts eating phenomenally, he'll start growing pretty quick. All right, I didn't put this on video, but in this discus tank, you guys remember we put in these two albino Chinese algae eaters, and they've been doing a fantastic job. Well, we had some shrimp cut come in. You can see one right there. Kind of looks a lot like a plant in the video, but that is a shrimp right there, a pretty big one. There is a pair in here, so the hope is they might uh, pair off and have some babies in, in this tank and have a little bit of a cleanup crew in here. While I'm in here, we've got that discus and one of the blue ones actually dropped another clutch of eggs. This time, they are not eating them so quick. There's probably about half left of what they were. So I'm afraid they might end up eating this batch as well. But they do seem to be guarding them more. These have lasted uh, two days now. And I do see little black dots inside, so they are viable eggs. We shall see what happens. And hopefully, these guys can get it right and they'll start producing discus babies for us. That is the female right there. That is the male, I do believe. But look at them, they're do doing a great job. There's really no one in here that messes with, with them. So that is their tank. Okay, you guys remember I took this 195 off the system because our boy was sick over here. <clears throat> well, I got him, he healed up in like a day or two, and now he's starting to show off once again. <clears throat> if I can get him to turn on his side, show you some of his color. Yeah, he is a good looking boy. So he can't came into us, he was a little bit beaten up. We got his tail healing up. We've got the bumps on his head filling back in. So I think we are ready and we actually want to try this guy in the thousand gallon over here and see if we can uh, have him live peacefully in this community as we have had good luck with flower horns in community tanks. Well, what I call a community, a community of monsters. But yeah, I think it w will be fine. Um, there is one guy that has to come out of here and that's that giraffe cat. As you can see, he is pestering the turtle, which I don't like that. He's getting a little bit too big and starting to bully some fish around in here. So maybe we will bump him over to either the 4,000 or the 750. Um, this planiceps, man, is he getting absolutely massive. He's at the 26 inch mark. When uh, he's turned sideways, he's now diagonal going across the couple tiles. But when he's turned sideways, he's longer than two tiles. So my best guess is uh, 26, closing in on 27 inches long. He is uh, an impressive boy, but I want to get him to around five foot. At the like three and a half, four foot mark, they start fit filling out and getting a little bit thicker. They are known as firewood cats because uh, down in their na the native lands, there, there's like no meat on, on them. So they actually dry them out and use them as firewood. So, fun fact. But he is do doing great. Everyone seems to be doing phenomenal in this tank. You know, my dad just added the uh, viejas in here, along with put this guy back in. So they all seem to be do doing great, giving us no problems at all. And over here we've got the tortoises munching on some romaine. There was a full head a little bit ago and I wasted some time and they made a quick snack of it. Uh, these guys are just snacking away, having some fun. They are staying warm here in the fish room. All right, and last I want to talk about the little cichlids in the 4400 because they are multiplying. They are in the rocks on the left. There's probably four I see right there. There's four or five in the middle I see, and there's even some guys over here on the right side in the rocks. They are just multiplying, and I feel that they are going to colonize this tank as well. So they've already exploded in the monster pond, and that's how I take it they got up into this tank. Um, but, you know what, like I said, nature will always find its way. 
And it just so happens it found its way into our 4,400 gallon aquarium. So that is cool. Um, just wanted to say, you know, again, happy holidays. Hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday weekend. Um, I know we're looking forward to do it here. So I'm going to make this one short and just say thanks for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Stay fishy, my friends.